Hi, this is Joe. I'm here with our patient, Matt. Matt came to us back in June of last year with actually initially with left wrist pain that he actually injured on the job. Um, uh, Matt is a police officer. And the wrist actually got better, but during the time the wrist was recovering, the elbow started hurting, and he ended up having something called lateral epicondylitis, which is also known as tennis elbow. Um, Matt ended up undergoing surgery in October of 2016, the very end. He was our Halloween patient. And um, the, in, the surgery he had was the lateral epicondylitis debridement on the left side. Matt is very active. He was very concerned about getting back to working out and um, getting back to his normal lifestyle. He's going to be a dad soon. So there was a lot of stuff going on with him, not to mention how young he is. Um, when Matt initially came here, he measured 32 inch biceps on the right and 31 and a half on the left. His strongest grip on the right was 49 kilograms and on the left was 44 kilograms. That's not actually abnormal with as far as the percentage wise. However, today is his last visit. His, he measures on his right bicep 35 in, um, centimeters and on his left 35, so he's actually equivalent on each side. His grip on his right averages about 50 and then same thing on his left, 50. So his left has actually gotten extremely stronger and he couldn't be more happy, and here he is to tell you his um, uh, experience with Dr. Cohen. Injury started August of 2015, progressively got worse. Uh, during that time, I just felt like I couldn't do much. I couldn't necessarily go to the gym and work out without discomfort. Um, I couldn't lift groceries. I couldn't pick up my two nephews who were two and a newborn. Um, it scared me, obviously, with my wife getting pregnant and not being able to do that with my own child. So Dr. Cohen was my, you know, savior to say the least. And I came in here, he told me uh, things that he could do as far as uh, possibly giving it an, uh, an injection with cortisone. But when I, he said, mentioned surgery, I felt comfortable with him. I felt like he uh, knew exactly what he was doing and what he was talking about. Uh, went into surgery and the next day, he had me go into therapy to make sure I still had range of motion. It was hard to get back, but I was motivated. Obviously, I wanted to get back to my nat natural active uh, things that I did, my activities. Um, so I, I stuck with it, uh, listened to his direction, didn't uh, necessarily go and push it, but you know, did things that he approved, you know, cardio, going on walks, and making sure that I went to therapy and kept mo mobilizing. After that, went to therapy to strengthen it. Um, now to this day, I'm able to go to the gym, uh, not feel, uh, you know, very little, if any, pain when I'm doing any workouts. Uh, I can still feel it's there, but so happy that I got the surgery. Um, never regretted it. Always um, happy looking forward, and I progressively feel it and getting better every single day. Uh, I feel as of right now, uh, we are in now April. Uh, I feel like I have no restrictions. I'm now back at work, full duty. Um, I'm a police officer and I work patrol, so there's nothing that I've been in um, on duty that has prevented me from doing my job to the fullest ability, and I'm, I'm happy with the results. Thank you. So what advice do you have for patients? Lateral epicondylitis is a lot of times it's because of lifting, and we have a lot of patients that come in that are you know, concerned with not being able to do, do certain workouts or, you know, not be able to lift again, what would, advice would you give to patients who are very active and motivated and making sure they continue their lifestyle? So for me, obviously, I like to do that stuff every day. It's not something that I have a certain goal that at a certain age I want to stop. I like to continue doing it throughout my entire life. You can see from the results that, you know, pretty much April of 2016 until Halloween night when I had my surgery, I wasn't lifting, I wasn't able to do stuff without pain. And even though I was still able to quote unquote work out, obviously my my body, my muscles, it was, it was going down. Um, so even though I was doing it, I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. So I might be going to the gym and feel like I'm working out, but I'm not getting the results that, that I'm putting in the hard work for. So I, with getting the surgery and then feeling 100%, and feeling how I was before I had the injury, I'm now able to focus on, you know, uh, stabilizing, you know, getting stronger, um, not overcompensating. So maybe one side's getting stronger than the other because 
doesn't hurt to lift with the right side than it does with the left. So with that surgery, it helped me obviously get back to 100%. So then I'm lifting and now working out and having that patience to recover and get better. But now I'm seeing the results through that workout instead of pretty much wasting time. Great. And let me see your incision. So this is his incision barely six months out. So the end of this month will be six months. I mean, in another six months, that's probably not going to even be there. Just make sure to wear sunscreen yeah. over it, okay? Well, thank you so much, thank Matt. You.